The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, Elijah has to prompt, be prompted by the angel twice to eat. I've never had to be prompted twice. <laughs> but the reason for the prompting is not necessarily to eat, but to make the journey. The angel says the journey is long. And he walked for 40 days and 40 nights. I've never done that. I think I've done 40 minutes before. But the reality is the journey is long. And the lesson for you and I is the journey is long. We must eat. And Jesus is very specific. I am the bread of life. He is telling us what we're to eat. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have life within them. Will have food for the journey, real food, real drink. Wow, what a gift. What a gift to us. His very body and his very blood in the Eucharist that he did at the Last Supper when he broke it and gave it to the apostles, when he consecrated the chalice and gave it to them. And then here we are 2,000 years later. We're at Mass. Again, we come to receive, to receive the Eucharist, to eat on the bread of life, to hopefully, right, have life eternal. What a gift, it says here in the, in the Scripture. I am the bread, living bread, come down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. He gave us his flesh. His very flesh is what they put on the cross. And he died for us so that his blood might wash our sins away. And then he rose from the dead and broke open the gates of heaven so that we might spend eternal life there with him. Wow. What a gift. What a beautiful gift. And then through the Last Supper and through these readings and through Scripture and through prayer, what? He keeps giving us this bread of life. And guess what, brothers and sisters? Through our baptism, we are the body of Christ, yes? In a way, we are the bread of life now for this world, for this place for Washington County and Osage County and Nowata County and those places where we live and where we work. And here we are worshiping together to be fed for the journey because the journey is long. In the second reading, it says, be imitators of God and live in love. God is love. That's the definition. That's the closest definition that we can understand. And he loved us so much he gave us his son. And when Jesus was asked, what are the two most important commandments? Or what is the one most important commandment? He gave two. 
Love God with your whole heart, your whole soul, your whole mind, everything. Love God. And love your neighbor as yourself. It's the same. It's just like the first one. And brothers and sisters, to love my neighbor, to love my enemy, to give to those who are around me, I must eat food for the journey. And the Eucharist is that food. Christ gave us the church. He gave us the sacraments. He gave us Him very self in all of those things so that we might have food for the journey. And now here we are on the journey. How's your journey going? How's it going? Do you need more food? Are there times of suffering and challenge? Are there times when you come up against obstacles? Are there times when the evil one is slapping you around? Well, maybe it's time to come back and get more food for the journey. Because the journey is going to be tough. It's going to be long. We need that food. We need that community. That's why we come together. Notice we don't do one-on-one -on -one Mass. No, we come together as community. We pray together. We sing together. We listen to the words of Scripture together. Soon we'll come forward together to receive the Eucharist, the most precious gift there is. That, that when we take the Eucharist, His very body and blood inside of us, it changes us. I'm reading a book by, uh, about Blessed Carlo Acosti. He's our first millennial on the way to sainthood. He died at 15 years old. He lived in Europe. And this book is The Five Steps to Becoming a Saint. And two of the steps, one of them is adoration of the Blessed Eucharist, going in prayer before our Lord, face to face, and allowing our Lord to change us. The second one is frequent reception of the Eucharist at communion, daily Mass. Sometimes we need that daily Mass, don't we? We need food for the journey today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. These are, these are things that God has given us for us to embrace so that we then go out into the world and are the bread of life for those around us so that we can then share in our understanding of what, how God loves us, that God loves them too. Go and preach to all the world, he says. Go and baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Care for those in need. Feed the hungry. Bring drink to the thirsty. There's a lot of work in that. We need food for the journey. That's why we come. That's why we come. And the, and the issue is for you and I is, do we waste that food? Do we come and, oh yeah, it's an hour, I did, I did my hour at church. It's checked off. Now I just go live my life. No, God did not create us like that. We are integrated individuals. Our faith is integrated into every breath we take, every step we take, everything we do. That's why he gave us food for the journey, so that we know, we can listen. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's my next step? What's my next step? Where do I need to go? Who do I need to love for you today? Who do I need to be the voice of, or the eyes of, or the hands of, or the feet of today? Because I'm a part of the bread of life. I'm a part of the body of Christ. We're all in this together. And he's given us food for the journey. Let us never take that food for granted. Let us, let us honor that food. Let us, when we receive that communion, let us be thankful. Thank you, Lord. May this Eucharist I have taken today not only bring me healing and bring me grace, but help me to make the journey with you at by my side so that, so that like Elijah, even though if I need to walk 40 days and 40 nights, or maybe I just need to get in my car and drive someplace, or maybe I need to text somebody, or maybe I need to make a phone call, I've got the energy coming from the right source, from God himself, to make the journey. The journey is long. 
And for some of us, we're farther down that journey than others here in this church right now. That's the reality. But we don't know the day or the hour. Carlo Acosti didn't know when he was 14 years old that he was only living another year. We just had one of our parishioners die about 48 hours ago. Fred Petcher, he didn't know it was when it was coming. We thought it was going to be a few weeks ago. Two years ago, he had no idea. We don't know. But our journey is our journey. And the food is here to give us the energy, to give us the will, to give us the ability, and most of all, to give us the understanding that God loves us and we can love each person that we encounter on the journey. That is what the food is for. That is what the bread of life is for. May we receive today and every day, and then when we encounter someone else, may we offer them what we can of the bread of life in how we live and how we do encounter them, the love that God has given us.